Hey guys, it is Natalie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I am actually in New England right now. I'm sitting in my car because I needed a quiet space to film this video. Today I wanted to talk about why you should or maybe why you shouldn't major in chemistry. I like to fill the gaps in the college YouTube video literature you could say. I just have not seen a video of a current chemistry student kind of giving their um, perspective as to why the chem major might be useful um, or like their experience with it and I wanted to provide that perspective. A lot of people on the internet that will tell you why you should or shouldn't major are already graduated and although that perspective obviously is very valuable because those people are actually using their degrees in the real world, um, I think having the perspective of a current student is also relevant. This is the stuff I enjoy talking about um, and I wish I had had when I was entering college. So without further ado, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Um, give this video a like at some point if you like the content and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Also literally have this little list written on the back of a receipt. This is what we're going with right now. <laughs> Firstly, I wanted to talk about why I chose chemistry. When I was a senior in high school, I was at a place where, and I think this is kind of common for a lot of dedicated students, where you really enjoy everything and you're pretty good at everything, like every different subject. Everything from like writing and language and literature, I really, really loved, like I genuinely really enjoyed. But I also really loved my BC Calc class, my stats class, and um, my AP chemistry class I thought was cool. When applying to college, I was like, what do I do? Because I kind of like a lot of things and they're asking me to put down a major and some schools have you like apply for the major separately. Because I was interested in so many different things, I thought, okay, well, I want a major that will give me a lot of options. I was a lot more interested in pursuing a STEM major than a humanities major. I wanted to be kind of on the forefront of discovering things and helping build new technologies. And I thought, well, okay, majoring in STEM will help give me that um, and help provide kind of that stable career that I want that is also exciting. Chemistry, as I have learned, provides you really with a lot of different options. So because I was kind of um, looking at you know classes and talking to people and looking at reddit threads that were all telling me yeah like you can do a lot of different things with chemistry I was like okay maybe this is the right major for me because I will hopefully enjoy it during college and then like as I go through college figure out how I want to apply chem so that's why I decided to major in chemistry and I actually informed my decision of where to apply to colleges I applied to all of my schools with either a chemistry or a chemical engineering major I applied to like top 20 programs for those UNC Chapel Hill where I go to school is right now ranked to the number 16 program for chemistry in the country which is pretty high I think it's kind of really cool to like go to a school and being in a department where there's kind of iconic inventions and discoveries that have come out of that department and like iconic people who have walked through those halls. Being at UNC has really enabled me to, to like get the full picture of what chemistry can do for me and like what I can do in chemistry. I also wanted to talk about what the curriculum in chemistry looks like throughout your four years of college. Studying chemistry usually follows like a generic kind of curriculum. So the first year of chemistry, you're going to be studying general chemistry. General chemistry is kind of the equivalent of AP chemistry, but in my experience, gen chem was a little bit of an elevated AP chem. So in general chemistry, you learn about things like how to write reactions, how to write out like chemical compounds, just the, the very basic stuff. And then you do get into like equilibrium and like acids and bases is a huge thing in the second semester of gen chem. And I think one of the most important things you learn about in um, gen chem, it literally how like positive and negative um, charges influence a lot of different areas of chemistry and like how that concept of like attraction and then also like repulsion is important for thinking about any area of chemistry. Then the second year you take organic chemistry and you usually also take um, an organic chemistry lab. Organic chemistry, you've probably all heard horror stories about it. It is a very difficult class but essentially you learn how to draw molecular structures for example when an acid and a base react you learn more specific and kind of advanced terms for acids and bases and you'll start drawing um we call them arrow pushing mechanisms where you will start drawing arrows and like pushing electrons around and you start to understand how electrons are working within these molecules organic chemistry in general is about learning about carbon-based compounds which are super foundational for like medical applications. Carbon is everywhere in the world. So like a lot of materials and like different things are 
organic. So it's a way to like kind of contextualize the different ways molecules can interact. Organic chemistry lab is usually about synthesizing more complicated things. So you'll start out maybe with like making aspirin or something, and then you'll end at um, making something more complicated. And you're learning throughout all of this how to use different lab instruments that you probably have never seen before. At UNC, I also mentioned like we do analytical chemistry. So analytical chemistry is about measuring things accurately and about testing like the purity of things. And that can be like really cool because you might be separating mixtures. You might be, um, again, like testing the purity of a solvent or like a mixture of gases and just like starting to learn ways to identify like what you actually have is very very cool at unc we also take inorganic chemistry at some point inorganic chemistry is about metals and metal complexes and this can be really cool because this is where you start talking about like crystals and like you learn why crystals are different colors what metals can do when like you ingest them in your body and generally like inorganic chem is very very fun and it has a lot of applications for um, more specialized areas of chemistry later on your third year of chemistry you will be taking physical chemistry and it varies at different schools but at unc how it's structured is the first semester you take a thermodynamics class thermodynamics is about like basically what do you have to consider when you're doing a reaction but like it may be exposed to air or like whatever else and like what are the different conditions it's in and how is heat transfer in informing how like your molecules are moving and all these different things the second semester of physical chemistry at unc is essentially a quantum mechanics class and it's basically all like a description of exactly what electrons are and uh, what electrons are doing electrons are essential in doing any chemistry i also will be taking a physical chemistry lab next year and it will be like a dry lab so i will be like programming stuff on my computer and then your last and final year of chemistry you'll usually be involved in like different special topics i for example have declared a polymer concentration which means that i'm learning about essentially how plastics are made how you can manipulate them and design them for specific applications analyze and characterize them so polymers are very very cool and i've enjoyed that those are the types of courses you'll take starting junior year and into your senior year for me it's polymers began analytical biochem um, more physical chemistry, more inorganic chemistry if you want. The third and last thing I want to cover is what people actually do with the chemistry major. Because I have done a lot of research, networked a lot, and also currently have a chemistry internship, I can speak a little bit to this. So this is different things you can do with chemistry. You can go into medicine, so you can become a doctor, or you can go into medical research, or really like any area of medicine. You can do pharmacy. You can also do cosmetic chemistry so if you're interested in like formulations uh you can also work in packaging you can work on anything from helping to design durable packing materials to adhesives for those packing materials you can work in like food science or like food chemistry you can work in like anything as niche as plane and like jet fuels you can also work in energy you can work in renewable energy or petroleum gas um, because chemists are going to know how to handle those chemicals. Also, like with renewable energy, that has to do, again, with electrons. You can stay in academia, so you can be a professor. For that, you do need to get a PhD, and usually for teaching professors as well, you need your PhD. But you can definitely get involved in almost all of the other fields I mentioned with just your bachelor's. Obviously, for medical or pharmacy, you'll have to go to more schooling for that for your md or your farm d so i hope that gave a broad overview of what chemistry is um, and what it actually means to major in this subject if you couldn't tell i'm very excited by chemistry <laughs> i think it's really cool i've done a lot of reflection about this and i think i could be in like a few different fields maybe like a couple other fields but honestly i'm really glad i landed on chem it's been challenging. I've learned a lot that I didn't even know existed before um, coming to college. And I also think I can pivot into a non-chemistry field if I ever want to, because I've learned how to analyze data and how to collect data and how to um, 
and think about things critically you know how to communicate science and all of these things are important for many different stem fields if i'm talking to any doctors of chemistry or anybody who has worked in the field for a long time please leave a comment down below and just share your experience if there's anything i missed because i'm sure like i'm 100 percent sure there's something i missed advice wise just leave it down below and hopefully this video can just be like a landing place for advice for future chemistry majors. I hope this was helpful if you're thinking about chemistry. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.